Peace to the family. Welcome to Black History Month. Today is February the 20th, which is Wisdom Cipher. It's February 2022. We're here in New Brunswick, where we're a little hue deficient. There's some comedy for you. Today we're going to focus on a framework, which has already been done for us to build together. We know our ancestors had it right. Those who came before us left us a great knowledge, a written history, a legacy. Through the farming of culture, seed planting, we are building up the physical, financial, and mental health of our Aboriginal, Indigenous Black people, which is a healing for our communities through social enterprise and community development to document, educate, promote, and protect who we are by focusing on the whole picture. Through culture, economics, health, medicine, and ecosystems within our natural environments and our institutions, unity through the nutrient cycle, traditional medicines and health practices in the community of medicinal plants, animals, and minerals for us to use, develop, and transmit to future generations. Less than two months ago, many of us, uh, what we know and what we call Christmas, some of us celebrated it, it. To those of us who are black, we need to add on to the principles of life that Kwanzaa brings. December 26th to January 1st, it's celebrated, but through its principles, we actively celebrate and act every day through our greatness. We need to add on to the principles of life that Kwanzaa brings us, the principles that are grounded in unity, oneness in the first principle, all the principles, there are seven. So oneness is the first principle, which encompasses all the other six. Unity, which is both a principle, a belief, and a practice, which is an action, a doing, which brings a harmonious togetherness, which is central to African ethics, to blackness. It's a code that governs how we do things. The key is practice. In the end, practice proves everything or disproves it. The principles go further to express the importance of intergenerational unity, one of the most important expressions of family unity. It's the respect and the collective concern and care for our elders, our elderly, who are seen as judges and reconcilers. It is they who hear our cases of conflict and our problems, and they offer up solutions. Their knowledge and wisdom becomes action, a way of life, which is written legacy to be continued on actively by us. Thank you, Mary Louise McCarthy Brand. We, us, need to act freely, freely shape our world in our own image and interest. This is the first act of a free people. Again, who am I is to know and to live out one's history and practice one's culture using cultural criteria of authenticity that's based on something real and measured, tangible, shown and proven which brings cultural groundedness. To be grounded means that we're rooted in something, to have purpose, a commitment to something, to building, developing, and defending our black community, its culture and history, in order to regain our greatness as a people. Remember that we are heirs and custodians of a great legacy. And to be a custodian of something, of a great legacy, it's to guard, preserve, expand, and promote it, to honor it by building onto it 
by expanding onto it and by leaving it as enriched as an enriched legacy for future generations. True greatness, true greatness and growth never occur in isolation family, meaning that we are never alone, that we have this information to build on. We don't need to reinvent anything. It's there for us. We have our ancestors, written materials, documentation that has been left for us to continue to help guide us through. Both living ancestors and those who've passed, they're directing us forward. Thank you, Dr. Ali Muhammad. Lastly, I'd like to say that we are family and tomorrow, February 21st, is family day. So let's build, let's continue to build on the great legacy that has been written for us. Those of us ha who have been doing this work for a long time are rediscovering it because it is there, even though it has been hidden from our eyes, trying to be eradicated. But it is not, family. It is not. Arm, leg, leg, arm, and supreme head, the foundation, the essence, the manifestation of knowledge, the way to express being born into existence, to have a clear mental picture, which equips us with insight and eyesight, a composite of principles and values, which is sacred, using force and influence, so all have access to truth, to power, in the best interest of everyone, the whole. True knowledge is to show our children. We are the conduits of this God. To add on to life, to take that which is untrue and add light to it, man and woman, to bring into existence life. Ashe.